This here. It matches every description of the file that I've found in lore. But if it can't hold liquid, there's no way of knowing. How did you manage to damage it then? This is what I get for not retrieving it myself. Figures. I doubt you have sufficient knowledge to harm the file, even if you wanted to. Either way, this is the end of it. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> I'm not quite in the mood to entertain guests. I trust you can show yourself out. Here's for your trouble. Thank you for your help. I know my master can be a bit short at times. Here, you should have this. Even though the file was damaged, I still think your efforts deserve reward. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to Norellian. I can make his final days a bit less painful. If there's anything else you need. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. It's almost getting downright hot now. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Ranmir beg a drink from you yet? That's gold wasted, friend. He owes this tavern enough coin to burn it down, build it back up, then burn it down again just for laughs. He's had some troubles in his life, but I can't have him drinking here without at least paying back some of the coin he owes. Go right ahead. He just might be sober enough to listen to you. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Let's sate that appetite, huh? If you have business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from, in fact. I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Vinterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. She doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. Though even that's dried up some. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Ah! 
See ya. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to have a quiet drink here, all right? Who are you to say what I should do? I'll pay her back when I'm ready. You're right. What would my forefathers think if they knew I wasn't paying my debts? Tell her and I'll bring her the gold I owe. All right, then. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? I see. That power certainly exists, I assure you. Wield it faithfully, and few can withstand you. It would seem that the College has what you seek. The question now is, what can you offer the College? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Excellent. The Mage Light spell is useful to any mage, not just those specializing in alteration. Can you cast one on the seal on the ground? No? Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. The college is an asset to Skyrim, even if it goes unnoticed or unappreciated. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabelle Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Much knowledge lies within the college's walls. Mirabelle will be waiting for you. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes. I'm simply trying to understand the reason behind this. 
decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my hands. Very good. Then we're done here. Welcome to the college. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Initially, you'll be learning from Torfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Torfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. There are no expectations. This college is a place to study and practice magic freely. Hopefully any discoveries made in your pursuits will be shared with the members of the college first. That way we all benefit. just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control, mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? 
Is that so? See, she agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward. One that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthol nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Before you even ask, yes, I have an ancestry steeped in magic, and no, I don't want to talk about it. Yes, I know Winterhold used to be full of my kind, and no, I don't care that they're all gone now. Does that cover everything? No, I suppose we haven't. Brelina Marion of House Telvanni. First of my family to leave Morrowind in a long time. Now I'm here to study Conjuration. That's what's important. So far, if only because no one is telling me how great I ought to be, I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. All right then.
I don't think Francis and I will ever lose our spark. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> 